All right, guys, and here it is, all set up. It looks, it actually, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, so now I'm gonna take you guys on a tour around the atom board, <laughs> and we're gonna go on a tour of what each one of these little spots means. So let's use one of the characters. So you can see, yeah, these are pretty cool. They fit on the board really well too. Uh, let's use Bernadette because who doesn't love Bernadette? You know, you know what I mean, you guys. I mean, you guys. You guys get what I mean? All right. <laughs> so the so okay. So you roll the dice. Here's how you play. So you roll the dice, um, and whatever you land on is how many spaces you move. So let's put the shell in here. So uh, I'll just roll again because I didn't really see the roll. So you got three. So you can be one, two, three, and then you can land on this. So uh, you know you that's so but. <laughs> so basically, when you you land on a yellow spot, that's a penalty. Um, and then, the, so roll again, and then I rolled a six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Landed on another penalty. Um, you won the Mystic Warlords of Cut Art Tournament. Roll again, and then you get to roll again, and whatever, whatnot. Um, so yeah, you get the idea. So when you land on a yellow one, that's a penalty. When you land on a fact car, a fact spot. You pick up a fact card, you read it, and if the person gets it right, they get to pick up a character card. Now, you have to have all five of the character cards by the end of the game. Whoever has all five of the character cards wins, but like I told you in part one of the video, um, if you get you can get duplicates of the cards, so, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Uh, you know, it just makes the game last longer, and it makes the game a bit more tricky. If you land on this, you have to do rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spock. Um, which, you know, if you don't know how rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spock works, basically, um, scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock, rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons spock, spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard, lizard eats paper, paper disproves spock, spock ba vaporizes rock, and as, as it always has been, rock crushes scissors. So, um, when you, the, the person who wins rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spock gets to steal one of their opponent's character cards. So say my last one I need is Leonard, and my opponent has Leonard, I can win Rock, Paper, Scissors, Scissors, Spock. And if I win, I get to take his card, and then the whole game is reset. Uh, if you land on one of these little lightning bolts, that's Fiction Spot. So you pick up a Fiction card, you read it. Again, if the person gets it correctly, um, obviously you don't have to try and guess the Fiction. Uh, uh, don't have to guess the Trivia. The person you're Trivia... Trivia, trivia ring? Is that even a word? It <laughs> um, does, and again, they pick up a character card until they have all five. So, I mean, for $20, it's a great game, to be honest with you. I mean, if you if you guys love as, love the Big Bang Theory as much as I do, it, it's a great game, to be honest with you guys. It's super fun. Um, again, if you guys have never seen the watch the Big Bang Theory or you're new to it and you haven't, you, a lot of, some of these questions can be pretty tricky. Uh, but I got most of them. They were pretty easy. Um, I think I got beat. Maybe, yeah, maybe probably once. But I went, I, I won, <laughs> I won every single, every single, um, every single match since. But besides that one, uh, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, maybe my, maybe a very special guest will come on the the YouTube channel and um, we can uh, play a game together. Um, and I'll show you guys kind of what it's like to play the board game so maybe we could do that maybe one of my family members if they would like to do that we can um so yeah that's that's it for now thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode and uh yeah keep watching big bang and enjoy so